Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Crystal Moon. Excuse the noise, my kids are here. It's a loud house I have four. So just ignore the noise in the background, but we are going to be looking into your soulmate connection. So just to keep in mind, soulmate can be anybody. It could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be a romance, it doesn't matter. It's whatever and however it resonates with you in this scenario. So. This is for sun, moon, and rising. If this does not resonate with you, please go and check out your moon and your rising signs, okay? It may resonate over there. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, please shoot me an email. My email is down in the description box, okay? So let's begin. <laughs> Welcome back, Taurus. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Oh my gosh, it's so loud out there. It's so loud. Okay, so Spirit, what do we have for Taurus in regards to them and their soulmate? What energy surrounds them? What is their story? What advice or messages do you have for them for their highest good? All right. Thank you, Universe. Thank you, Divine. Thank you. <sighs> for Taurus and their soulmate with you. Spirit, what do we have for Taurus? Oh, Taurus. Your energy seems like you're figuring stuff out. You're balancing stuff with the two of pentacles here. I'm really feeling that like aspect of you doing stuff. I don't, I mean, it can be like juggling things and maybe you are in the essence, but I really feel like this is beneficiary, beneficiary, beneficial, <laughs> beneficial for you um, that you're doing that. You're like multitasking. Like, that's what I feel like. You're multitasking in a lot of things right now. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what your soulmate's energy is here. energy for Taurus. What do we have? Ooh, the Queen of Swords. So they're, ooh, okay. So what I'm getting, you are multitasking. Your, your soulmate, they, okay, they could be an air sign, potentially, um, which is Libra, Aquarius, um, Gemini energy. Um, but I am really feeling like they are wanting to say something to you. Like they're, they're wanting to come and talk or trying to maybe even gain clarity on y'all's relationship, on y'all's connection, whatever this is. Keep in mind, this does not have to resonate with just romance, friends, family, anything like that. Um, and maybe in the possible, you're not even aware of this person yet, but I feel like they're wanting to communicate something to you. They, they're wanting to come towards you. They're wanting to find answers in something. And I really feel like since they're looking at you and you're looking away because you're busy doing whatever it is you're doing and you're multitasking, you know, in your multitaskingness, um, trying to get things going financially, money-wise, work-wise, trying to get things rolling in that direction. Queen of Pentacles sits between you guys, okay? And I feel like because she's looking at you in this card, in the cards I'm using, she could be a he, okay? But because the Queen of Swords is facing your direction here, um, and it's almost like seeing through this queen of pentacles. So I feel like she, he views you as someone that can bring, um, security in, in a way, you know, bring some kind of, uh, foundation, you know, whatever, maybe you have to build on, um, enjoying life together in this life like seeing you guys together i i do feel like that's how your soulmate feels <laughs> let's see what else is going on here
Okay, so I'm feeling like whatever this is, what you're go you're obviously going through some stuff as far as multitasking, like I said. I know I keep saying that. Um, you have the tower that is right underneath you here. So, and right beside that, between you guys is the Wheel of Fortune, and they sit in the Five of Swords energy. Okay, this is them. The tower is you. Uh, so, I'm really feeling like whatever this connection is, whatever is happening, um, I feel like it's something good that is for you, Taurus, that is going to help you rebuild whatever it is that you're trying to rebuild. So this could be a work soulmate. This could be a work relationship. You know, I do see the pentacles here. Um, and I'm feeling like I'm feeling like with their energy being in the five of swords, they are wanting to convey something to you or approach you with something. Maybe it's even an idea um, to bring some kind of stability, financial stability towards you. But with the five of swords energy here, I'm really feeling like they are really wanting to, they're really wanting to bring clarity but I feel like they want to do it quickly before time is up, before time is too late, before you walk away from them. <clears throat> so if this is somebody that you already know, oh my God, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> if this is someone you already know, Taurus, they are feeling like the time is running out. They feel like they need to speak to you urgent, urgently, like really urgently because you might end up walking away from them before they can say what they have to say. Um, and it might even be that this tower moment that you're about to encounter, this rebuilding, this restructuring, this destroying of the old and rebuilding the new for yourself, it might even be that they need to say that before this goes in play. And possibly I am feeling this because they may already see that you are moving into a direction of independence or you might be moving into a direction that is, you know, self-sufficient for who you are and they might feel like there is no room for them that you won't have any room for them once you start rebuilding, okay? And I feel like here, <clears throat> they need to say what they got to say before you walk away because they, they just have to get it out. The Wheel of Fortune sits in between. It also sits in the middle of this um, spread. So it's very prominent that things are about to shift for you. And this shift is what creates the urgency. They have the urgency to tell you something. They think about it all the time. It crosses their mind all the time. It may keep them up at night. Um, you know, that worry about needing to get to you because they know that you are here in the mode of planning. You are here in the mode of what's next for you, okay? And they want to reach out before you take that next step, before this shift comes, before this tower gets rebuilt for yourself to say what it is that they need to say. This could be somebody from your past, okay? This could be a past relationship of any kind. It does not mean it's romantic. I know some of you, it is romantic, but it, it could be just someone you know from your past that has to say something towards you. And if, if this is not anybody that you are currently aware of, this is a soulmate card. This represents a soulmate card. So your soulmate is potentially coming in um, and wanting to speak to you. And you might not even see that because like I said, you are in the two of pentacles here. Um, and you see, you are not facing the queen of swords. You have your back towards them because you're focused on your money. You're focused on getting things together, but they do see and feel a sense of security with you. Um, and wanting maybe to build family, maybe to get together, maybe just to create a relationship um, around this lifetime with you and they need to convey that to you. Okay. So let's go ahead and go into future energy here. What's to come for future energy for Taurus in regards to them and their soulmate. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, universe. Thank you, divine spirit. What messages do we have here for Taurus in regards to their soulmate <clears throat> for future energy? Sorry. 
What do we have for Taurus? And there's so many for future energy. Okay, one more card. One more card, Spirit. Can I get one more card? Oh, okay, don't go. Wow. So there is a lot of fire here. Um, there is a lot of fire going on. Okay, so I'm. This is what I'm getting. Bear with me here, Taurus. I feel like your soulmate is wanting to confront you, right? And it, what it is is something. Um, I'm really feeling like it's. It's, it is a love offer, and, and this might not resonate with all, but this is a love offer. This is an emotional um, connection here. I'm feeling like she or he is really just trying to pour out their feelings to you and let you know how they feel if they're wanting to be with you before you take this next step. But what is really, really prevalent in this layout or how I have it and I'm going to show you is you're turned away the energy is turned away that passion is turned away from this person okay so we have the page of wands and the eight of wands okay and then we have the queen of cups and I'm really feeling like here when this time comes like the future energy this person is going to want to come towards you when they finally do when they finally come and get the confidence to move towards you with their emotional feelings and how they feel i f i don't feel like you are going to be responding in the way that they probably want you to but that's okay because if they have to get something that's said out to you then they have to get something said out to you and that's just how it should be anyways you take it how it comes when it does happen because i feel like the energy that surrounds that is outward so i feel like even though this person has love and affection for you and really wants this connection i feel like the attention and the passion is not going to be drawn back in to them and this could be them with their passion wanting you as well and them you know like if you look at this you know it could be them here radiating this passion and this fire outward but i also because I do feel like that is what it is. Like they do have this passion that they want to outwardly put out, right? But I'm also reading this as well as your focus here. You are more focused on the journey of whatever it is that you are focusing on for yourself. I don't really know. I really, I really feel like Taurus right now, you are not ready to be in some kind of serious committed relationship okay i feel like you, you are not ready for that because your focus and attention and maybe at one time you were but with your soulmate um you're not ready to make that bond yet i feel like you here um i feel like you here are are taking your passion and attention to your own victory to your own self-survival to your own you know you standing alone and celebrating who you are before you can move in and come in with a connection that is strong and heavy and emotional and deep i'm not saying you don't feel things deep but this person wants that and i that's why i feel like there's the urgency that they want to convey this before you start on your trail before you start going um because they know that when they do there's that potential that you are not going to respond back you are your passion is going to be outwardly you're, you are going to put your focus to yourself and here it is with the page of wands you know you looking out you looking away from that because there's other things on the horizon for you that you want to explore and that you want to see you know there's other things that you want to do um, so that's what I feel like the future is. So whether or not this person gets to convey something to you, uh, or not, they do want to, <clears throat> but hopefully, you know, if they do, they can, and hopefully, you know, you listen and do what feels right for you, Taurus. 
Um, but I really feel like right now in this time with your soulmate, it's just not the time to bond or it's not time to connect and unite right now. Like I feel like there's a lot more things for you to learn and grow upon before you can actually settle. They may feel like, you know, they're good. I mean, they, they look, they're looking through the queen of pentacles at you. So they do see that, you know, security within a relationship and wanting to build like they they feel ready and I really feel like they want to convey that to you I'm just not quite sure if you're ready so we're finding out what advice spirit has to say for you what advice can be given to you in this situation with your soulmates okay okay one more card, Spirit. Thank you, Universe. Thank you, Divine. One more card for Taurus. And there we go. Wow. Okay. So here is your advice. You have the judgment with the Nine of Pentacles and with the Ace of Pentacles. And we know that there's that that's offering uh, with a Knight that could be offering of love or a security as well. I told you that they see, they do see that in you. But I feel like with the judgment, the advice here from spirit is exactly what it is. A judgment. Um, you are going to have to make a choice and you are going to have to decide. And I feel like what this is, is you are going to have to make a choice on whether to... Offer back, okay, if this is communicated to you. You are going to have to make a choice between being with them or doing something for yourself, you know, being self-sufficient, staying on the track that you're maybe currently on. So I feel like what Spirit is saying is that you need to go with your intuition. Okay, let me clarify the judgment. You need to go with your intuition. You need to go what feels right with you. Do you approach this person and make that offer to them in return? Or do you go out and get your Ace of Pentacles, your new beginning, and your new foundation? Okay, that's the choice that needs to be made. Spirit, why is the judgment here? Please clarify the judgment. What is this judgment? I see the choice. I do see the choice that you have to make here. So I'm feeling like with the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups, 8-8, eight, eight, take a look at those numbers, 88, look it up, angel number 88. Um, I feel like it's going to be significant for you. Makes me curious now. I want to look it up. I might post it down in the comment um, area. But Eight of Swords and Eight of Cups that is clarifying this judgment card of what you need to be deciding and discerning. We know that it's going to, I feel like it's going to be either moving towards this person or going out and getting your own, you know, getting your own thing. Because when this time approaches, when this person comes towards you and finally tells you your soulmate tells you hey this this and this um even though you have these dreams and you have these aspirations and you have this passion that's that you're wanting to move into victory for yourself you're not a bad person Taurus so you're going to be faced with this decision do I move with the person towards them or do I go find abundance for myself so judgment clarified with the eight of swords and the eight of cups what I'm feeling like spirit is telling you here is whatever it is that you're doing, stay true to yourself. Do not be binded or blinded to whatever it is that is going to hold you back, okay, to find that last cup. You are on the search for that ace of cups, which could be emotional fulfillment, whatever. And this could be for yourself. I feel like this is for yourself. But don't be blind to that and don't be a prison and don't be a prisoner either. You have to be able to walk away. So I feel like the discernment comes in here, whether this is with this person or not with this person, or whether it's you finding you going out making your own way in life on your own or not. 
whatever it is in this judgment, whatever it is, Taurus, you have to be true to yourself. Okay? You have to do what's right to find your own emotional happiness and stability. Okay? Your own love for yourself and not to be manipulated and not to feel guilty about whatever it is that you choose make sure it's pure make sure it comes from the heart okay your judgment is here your angels are with you listen to your intuition as it's guiding you and telling you okay that is what i have for you um taurus and don't forget again you have the will of fortune so things are about to shift for you which is good so if this resonates Please leave me a comment down below and until next time, Taurus, have a wonderful day. Bye.